Hello class! Today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video than you're used to. But there is a lot of stuff going on in the world today, at least in politics. Today I'm going to try and explain the differences of words we are seeing in the press. Some of these words are insurgency, insurrection, revolt, revolution, and even coup. We have also seen articles about constitutionality of activities, rumors of impeachment procedures, again, and a plethora of resignations, including the Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. As a certified social studies teacher, I say good riddance to that last bit of news. I want to avoid taking any sides or extreme views. You may not agree with me, and that's fine. I'm not here to please everyone. Just know that although I may not always be right, and like everyone, I can make mistakes, but I am educated and I know how to research by using legitimate sources and critical thinking to identify falsehoods or misinterpretations. If you want other viewpoints, there's plenty out there, and it won't take you long to dig in and find another side, and then another opinion, and on and on. That is the thing about history. It doesn't change, but the viewpoints do, and the lessons learned can change. Opinions and outcomes for future events can change. But there is always room for differences of opinions of the facts and how they are interpreted. Don't forget, history is written by the victors. And it may take longer to get other viewpoints as well. That's why history is such an important subject to study. Many people think that history is boring because it's about dead people. But historians are always learning and adding to our understanding of the past using first-person sources, written records, artifacts, and many other methods. There is always more to learn and interpret about our human stories. Rather than focus on current or past events today, we will be learning about the words that we use to describe events and movements. A lot of these words can be used interchangeably and differences are very slight. First, the word insurgency is usually used when referring to a small uprising, guerrilla warfare type situations. And it is an uprising against a recognized government. It is a skirmish. It is a noun. Insurrection is a synonym for insurgency, along with revolt and rebellion, to name just a few. Oh. By the way, I'm also a certified English teacher, so take that as you may. Insurrection is the act itself and a violent act of uprising. This is another power play, just like insurgency. An insurrection is a full-on attack or complete takeover. Also, a noun, and with similar synonyms. Which is not surprising. Revolt is a rising rebellion. Are we understanding the similarities here? It also means to renounce allegiance to a government. Also an expression of vigorous dissent. Depending on how it's used, it is either a verb or a noun. If used as a verb, some synonyms you might hear are disgust or repulse. 
As a noun, you have both insurgency and, you guessed it, insurrection. We can skip over the first definition of revolution as it pertains to a celestial object in orbit or a change in technology. But revolution is also a sudden radical change, possibly the act of overthrowing a government by the people, but at least a movement to enact fundamental change. This is often a violent movement that can cause radical change. And the last word I have seen recently is coup, also known as coup d'etat, because it is a French word. And according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, it means a sudden, decisive force in politics. It is usually a successful, forcible removal of a head of state, often carried out by the military and not civilians. What I do know is all of these words are collective violence. That is the one thing they all have in common. The size and the reasons may vary along with the participants, but they're all violent. One more word to throw out there, sedition. How many of you actually know what that word means? It's okay if you don't. It means incitement of resistance to or insurrection against lawful authority. I think the key word there is incitement. I love my country. The activity that we have seen over the past year is scary. We do not need to be more separate or more divided. We need peace and understanding. We need to understand that we will not always agree, but we need to respect each other. Follow the golden rule. Be kind. Be educated. Smile. Breathe. It'll be okay. Till next time.